Okay, my name is Ian Powell. I'm Chairman Senior Partner of PwC in the UK. And so I think it's really important in whatever you do, you've got to enjoy it. And I always sort of used to ask myself sort of three questions. You know, do, do I enjoy what I do? Do I feel like I'm progressing? And do I feel fairly rewarded for what I do? And I think if you can answer yes to those three questions, you're lucky. And, and the last thing I'd say on that really, I guess, is every job that I've ever done, I've just done it as well as I could. And so people think that, you know, if you get to a very senior position in an organisation, you must have had some fantastic plan. You know, did you have a five-year plan? And I never did, you know, I honestly didn't. I was kind of happy doing whatever job I was doing. And it's interesting, I guess, that if you really enjoy it and people think you're doing pretty well, then different opportunities come with it as well. Um, yeah, I think it's always difficult when you think about yourself in terms of any achievement. Um, I guess, you know, I think achievements come in lots of different ways. I mean, um, you know, I've got uh, four great kids and, you know, and, and a close-knit family, you know, and June and myself met at school. So I think in terms of the family side, I think it is an achievement if you can bring up four kids, actually. I think that's pretty important. Uh, from a business perspective, I guess I'd say that um, there is something about sort of um, uh, instilling the values um, that you believe are the right values in a business and being sort of, you know, authentic enough to articulate those values and then really sort of living the values right the way through because I think that people underestimate um, that personal impact. I think in, in senior positions in any organisation, people watch you all the time and I think your behaviours really matter. Um, somebody said uh, once that... Um, you know, every day I really like to communicate the behaviours of the organisation and sometimes I even use words. And I think that's really important. You know, people watch you all the time. So I guess from a business achievement, it would be more about sort of defining what the values of the organisation are and hopefully building those values into the DNA of the organisation. Yeah, I, I, I think it's because, you know, people... I don't know, people like to be private, I guess, more about the, some of the personal side as well. It's a lot easier usually to talk about business and to talk about um, what's happening in a business sense because somehow it feels a lot more sort of public. But actually, I think to actually reveal yourself um, and so that people can really see that the values that you, you act by at a personal level come through into business as well, actually, I think is really important. And I think a lot of, um, whether they be business leaders, um, or just you know people in general life really um, I think people sometimes hide the true self if you like and I think you do need to be open and I think you need to be authentic and I think you need to be accessible and so I think if you can be accessible in the personal side I think that really helps you in the, in the uh, business side as well um, I think people can see whether you mean it or not so even if you're on a stage or whether you're one-to-one -one, you know, I think people look at you and they decide whether or not you really truly believe it. And I think, um, you know, people that are looking at leaders are a lot more perceptive than leaders probably believe that they are. And that I think uh, modern leadership is about how do you get the best out of people and how do you give them the opportunity to fulfil themselves as well. In the overall sort of guidance in terms of the structure and the nature and the strategy of a business as well. So, you know, I think that um, um, I think constructive challenge is really good. Um, I think it's a really good test of any culture in any organisation as to whether people feel that they can um, they can challenge unacceptable behaviour. Is there a good mechanism to enable them to do that? I think that's healthy if they can. I guess I'd just say. Um, I'd say be yourself uh, and the one piece of advice I wouldn't I would have given to my young self if you like is be more confident you know I mean I just I think it took me quite a long time to realize that the opportunity was there and that you can really sort of make the most of the opportunity and to trust on your own skills and judgment and talent more than I probably did um, it probably came to me at around 28 29 that you could really make that sort of difference just think what you might have done if it had come to you at about 18 or 19.